You gotta be kidding me. Seven dollars for a cheese sandwich? Oh, what the hell. I won't find any other place to eat. Hold on, monsieur. Sheridan? Luis, what are you doing here? Well, to tell you the truth, I was looking for you. Uh, you came all the way to Paris just to see me? Yeah, I sure did. I went by your hotel, but you weren't there. Guess the habit of us running into each other still holds. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> so. Une fleur pour la jolie demoiselle. Oh, oh no, merci. No, I, I'd like one. You don't want to do this. No. I don't want to. Ah, l'amour. <laughs> merci, monsieur, je soir. Well, I wasn't sure you'd be glad to see me. I am. I really am. I'm, I'm just so surprised to see you here. I mean, there's so much I want to show you. Yeah, well, I'd like that. But do you have time? When I went by the hotel, the maid said that you were meeting someone. Oh, well, that's not till later. But you know what? It's not even that big of a deal. I could cancel it. That'd be great. I'm so glad to see that you're okay. Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, you know, at the, the phone call I mentioned earlier. Oh, no. I am such a jerk. You're only here because you think I'm in some kind of trouble. Yeah, well, I was worried about you, but that's not all. I tried to explain when I called. Right. Some absurd question about my ex-boyfriend, Jean-Luc. Well, you know what, Luis? I don't want to hear it, because any of my relationships, past or present, are none of your business. You know, you may be very wrong about that. I want you to look at facts I received from Interpol at Harmony PD. French con man named Jean-Luc something or other got killed on a mob hit after a drug deal went bad. What does this have to do with me? Well, hopefully nothing. But I want to check the aliases of his and make sure that none of the last names match your Jean-Luc's. This is absurd. There are a million Jean-Luc's in Paris. Yeah, I know that. But I just want to check. You know, call it cop's instinct or whatever. This fax came through just after you left for Paris. I got a bad feeling. Now, I even called your damn brother Julian to check and see what John Luke's last name was. So you said on the phone, what do you do, hang up on you? Yeah, that's exactly what he did. After he warned me to stay away from you. Now, that's the reason I'm here. I just wanted to make sure that you were safe from John Luke's killers, okay? Look, John Luke is a lot of things, but he was not involved with drugs or killers. I mean, what do you think, I'm some kind of idiot? stupid do you think I am? I think I would have known if the man I was getting married to was involved with drugs. Nobody's saying you're stupid. Pig-headed without a doubt. Stupid never. All I am saying is what you wouldn't let me explain when I called. That anyone who was associated with this guy who was knocked off could be in danger themselves right now. Sheridan, these drug lords mean business. They will stop at nothing in rubbing out anyone who thinks they can finger them. I hate to burst your bubble, but I'm very capable of taking care of myself, if I need taking care of, which I don't, because the man who was murdered couldn't have been Jean-Luc, because he is very much alive. In fact, I'm going to meet him later. You can't. Why not? Oh, no, no, don't tell me. Mr. American Super Cop's ordering me not to. We write your jurisdiction here, buddy. I just assumed, because of the way he treated you earlier, that you wouldn't want to see him again. You said he was a user. Oh, and you're not, Louise. You're just as low down and no good as he is. There it is. The guy they killed was known under a few different names, and his last known name was was Milan. What was your John Luke's last last name? Be out of my mind. Now, I've never seen anyone who looked like they were in less danger. <laughs>